Libra, welcome back to Mystical Illuminations. It's your girl Merch, the Big Body Benz. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess, somebody come see this. I just popped in to see what's good with you. Say hey. Talk a little shit, you know? I feel like you need somebody to chop it up with, Libra. You need somebody to talk to. You need somebody in the whole space. You need somebody to listen to you. You don't got many friends these days. You, you've learned the hard way <laughs> that people aren't your friends. That a lot of people that you had around you aren't your friends. You're being kind of lonely in regards to being around people who understand where you're at right now. Some of you men, <laughs> it's funny you really are fucked up somehow. Or you get fucked up easily, yo. Couple sips, couple sips, a couple puffs, and you're lit. You know, seeing things too for some of you. For some of you, seeing things, they're getting real, having real spiritual encounters off of nothing, man. Not even a full drink or only a couple pulls. That's for some of you. For some of you, yo, you really do uh, way too much. And, and uh, in comparison to what you do, it seems like other people are just taking a couple sips or just taking a couple pulls. That's how it feels. That's how the energy feels for some of you. Or you're seeing someone this way. You're seeing someone this way. For some of you, you really have someone close to you that you care for that overdoes it. You know? To the point for some of you, for some of them being sick. Their health needing to come first. It needs to come first a very long time ago and they're getting away from them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's time to make a change. It's time to go somewhere else. Some of you have just leveled up at work. Or you want to level up. You want to move somewhere where you can work for work for someone else. Have you know live better. Work for some someone else and not work as hard. Or work somewhere that you know you'll be able to move up or start your own career, not your own business. Some of you are ready for the next level. Some of you already manifested it, man. And you're kind of like... Struggling to stay afloat. Struggling to not drop the ball. Needing a lot more help than, than, than you've got. For some of you Libra masculines, you're needing to be a lot more help than you've been to someone. Realizing that some of you are already prepared to move closer to someone so that you can... Uh, Get your life in order, but also be closer to be be of assistance to this person or to connect with this person. It being crazy, uh, the lines getting blurred, it being really messy. For some of you men, you're really struggling in a relationship or in a marriage where um, the communication is really terrible. It being really abusive, being really toxic. Some of you wanting to check in with how you, feminine energy, wanting to check in with how you speak to your partner, speak to a masculine energy. Really finally taking note of how you can emasculate him. Or your temper being too much, but this is how he feels. It's not necessarily something that you're doing, but some of you are absolutely doing this. You know <laughs> who I'm talking to, I guess. Being really powerful, being really strong, being with someone, or even being with a feminine energy that somehow um, it, it emasculates. It emasculates him. Or she does so much or can do so much without him. It makes him feel not wanted or needed. Men don't really like when you're needy. But they really love to feel needed. It being a fine line to walk. Someone stomping all over that. Not caring. And still very much wanting to be taken care of. It being really confusing. Feminine energy wanting to be taken care of. But at the same time shitting all over. A masculine or what he does or the role that he plays in her life. 
not seeing what he does, but this is the way that he feels. For some of you, he does the bare minimum. For some of you, you really do got your wires crossed, man. The wires are crossed. They're being a masculine. For some of you, you're this masculine Libra who does the bare minimum. And there's a feminine who, energy who, who makes you feel emasculated or who uh, is the, the breadwinner or who she... She runs the household. For some of you, it's your wife. For some of you, it's your mother. Or you are a Libra feminine dealing with a masculine this way. And you wonder why you're not on the same page. Or why you can't communicate on a, in a healthy way. Or why when you speak to him he shuts down. Why you don't get the response out of him that he wants. He either gets really disrespectful or he shuts down. It being like this for some of you. Him being able to use your delivery as an excuse to not hear the message. Mm. You're legit feeling like there's no respect though. Feels like it gets really ugly for some of you. It gets really ugly on both ends. Lines get crossed, things get said. Things are done as payback or as revenge. You're being so petty, so tit for tat, unhealthy. You really need to look at this. For some of you really are in long term connections. You have families, or you're in marriages, or you've been in long term. Uh, relationships with these people and you really do care about them and love them but it's gotten toxic it's gotten unhealthy it's gotten really unhealthy there need to be ways to communicate there are healthy ways to argue there there are healthy ways to disagree agreeing to disagree is a thing needing a time out needing to walk away allowing someone space to breathe in the moment not needing for something to get fixed right now. It's, it's knowing that something is not going to always get fixed right now. Especially the two people are already up here. Needing to be able to walk away before you get all the way there. Some of you really do need a vacation. You just need a moment to yourself. You don't even need to go far, but you need a moment to yourself. To regroup. Let yourself listen to your thoughts It being really loud wherever you are Really chaotic Most of the time, somehow It being multiple energies A lot of energies Or one particular person Has a lot of different personalities Multiple truths existing Accountability is really important right now Then I just heard Aries. Some of you are dealing with an Aries who struggles to take accountability, but you're also kind of struggling to take accountability as well. Mm -hmm. This being a, a, a thing or a message for a while now. Accountability. You need to ask yourself, what have you done to make someone respond the way that they've responded? For some of you, this is someone else that needs to ask themselves. Why did someone respond the way they responded to me? Why did it go where it went? Someone looking really heavily at what you did and not caring about the why. The why being important. The why being important when you want to understand someone. When you care about them. You're saying it also depends on what it is they've done to you. It, the energy being really petty, really tip for tat, really back and forth, and then it grows and gets out of control. There being this energy, though, of, of doing something over and over and over and over and over again. Fighting for something that, that always blows up in your face over and over and over again. Or fighting with someone <laughs> over and over again. 
you're kind of being really scary for some of you at this point because it, it's it's so much and it's been going on for so long for some of you or for so many years for some of you that it feels like the end is nearing it feels like complete exhaustion it feels like there's still being a lot of love here and you need to shift the fight that's left in you to fighting for a connection or for a relationship that you really believe in if you still really believe in it and a lot of you still do a lot of you really love the person that you're with and you want to work it out you being so angry sometimes or so disappointed sometimes so sad sometimes that it gets away from you but some of you your your vision for how you want how you see your future definitely includes this person not being able to see your future without them or still being in the space of them being included in that vision when you think about it and vice versa same for this person and so needing to really develop <laughs> needing to develop really uh, healthy, healthy tools for communication, man. You two just talking over each other, cutting each other off, man. Heavy, heavy on that energy of cutting each other off, not even giving each other the, sp the space to speak. Speaking when the other one is speak, when, when someone else is speaking, and not hearing a word that they're saying. Both of you doing this, talking at each other. Going in circles. Someone being really exhausted from this and needing a break. What would they do if, if, what would they do without me? What would they do if I wasn't here? What would they do if they didn't have me? Some of you ask yourself this. How would people carry on without you? For some of you, you're with someone who, who or you, you know, you, you're with someone, you have someone close to you who really does overextend, overextend themselves this way and they have these type of thoughts, but a lot of you, this is you. Asking yourself, what would they do without me? What would they do if I, if I just left? <laughs> some of you really thinking about running away some days. You need to ask yourself, what are you running away from, or what are you, what are you running to? You take you wherever you go. Having some things to heal within you, for real. A lot of this, man, there's a lot of this energy out here of being able to do what you want and expecting someone else to do as you say, not as you do. Whether this is you or someone else that you're dealing with, with this energy being out here, being really disrespectful to to at least one party in the situation, them being really uh, offended all the time. Not not it. It doesn't even feel like a one-time thing. It's being a regular thing somehow. Someone feeling disrespected regularly. Some of you, it took it took a really, it took a lot of work. It, it was really hard somehow for someone to stop doing the things that they were doing, talking to multiple women, talking to multiple men. Pick what side you want. For some of you, it's it's both of you. <laughs> it being really hard to do this. One person feeling like one person uh, definitely did it. A lot easier than the other, or was easier for one person than the other. For some of you, 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 you're both you're both cheaters. Some of you somehow you're both cheaters. You both lied to each other. You both have cheated on each other before. Doesn't mean it's what you're currently doing, but you have before. There being no trust somehow in a connection. You need to really be honest with yourself and and. Figure out how you still feel about your partner. Still figure out, feel, feel about certain situations that you're in. But do you love this person? Like really genuinely asking yourself, 
Do you love this person? Do you want to stay in this connection? Because if so, you need to act like it. You need to love on this person. Some of you spend a lot of time just being in the same space with someone that you don't even love on. Or they don't love on you. But you're in the space of like, well, if they don't move, I'm not going to move. Meanwhile, you want to be loved on. And sometimes, man, we have to be the one to say, fuck all of this. You know, I'm making myself suffer by not doing the things that I um, that I that I genuinely want to do. I know I, I, that I would love it for, you know, someone to hug me first or kiss me first but if I if, if when I look at you the only thing that I see that I feel is that I want to put my arms around you I'm going to put my arms around you it, it's not about who does it first or, or needing you to make the first move especially if I share my life with you you know or we, we're in the same the same house every day we've been we've been doing this for so long we've been married for so many years some of you need to really need to check in with this shit where, where, where you're, you're still living with someone, you're still in a relationship with someone that it's so petty. It's so much tit for tat. It's so much time being wasted. It being really precious. Time is precious. For some of you people around you are dying. You having a, a unique relationship with death or a unique understanding. And you knowing this and needing to be aware, man, of how much time you like get away from you when it comes to someone that you really do love, really do care about. Or asking yourself if you still care about this person that way. And is that why you're allowing so much time to get away from you? Is that why you are allowing yourself to uh, be angry, be stubborn, overworking some shit out? Some of you, yeah, you get in your feelings and you get so stubborn and you shut people out, you get so, it's weird. You knowing that you're breaking your own heart and still choosing to be stubborn and shut people out. Needing to heal that. There being certain innocent people who get caught in the crossfires because of this way of being, <laughs> because you make these decisions, people that you genuinely love, people that are genuinely innocent, because for some reason it feels young, feels like children for some for some of you, they get caught up in it somehow. Anyway, let's pray. I don't feel like I'm going to be here long. Things that you normally do, things that you do regularly, somehow are taking more energy out of you. You're not pouring into yourself enough. You're spending a lot of energy overexerting or fighting with someone or really thinking really hard about how you want to move next to where you want to go. Some of you legit don't feel well. You've been sick for a while. You've been sick for a while. People not knowing that you're sick either. People not being able to pick up on the fact that you're sick. You being sick and people not being able to tell at all. For some of you it's more serious. It's not just a cold. So you it is. It's just a cold, but um I don't think I prayed yet. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angel, spirit, God, spirit, animal, source, God, universe, please allow me to tap in with my Libras, Sun Moon Rising, Venus, and North Node. To see what's going on with them at this time. Please protect this patient from any negative energies and only the energies of love and light to enter. I say thank you, Spirit. I kind of feel like I just prayed twice, but I couldn't tell. Can't tell. Mm. Something about things being foggy, things being hazy, things getting away from you. Being really out of it. Not being so sure where some of, of, of what you did with something, where something go. 
some where something went, misplacing things. Being dizzy, being this tired for some of you. Some of you are just this tired. You're exhausted. I don't even know how you're still going for others of you, man. Yeah, I really do. Find yourself taking a, a lot of something, over, over, overdoing it. Not feeling good and smoking till you feel really bad somehow, you know, or drinking till you feel really bad, or you're dealing with someone like this. Some of you are dealing with someone like this. Someone's a sloppy drunk. Someone's a sloppy drunk. Someone's an alcoholic. Either it's you or someone else around you. Someone having a really bad habit. Someone's eyes bothering them. Someone having problems with their eyes. Somebody's supposed to wear glasses. Someone does wear glasses. They need to go to the eye doctor. Some of you hurt somebody's eye. You hit them in the eye. You hurt them. Someone can't see out of their eyes clearly as they once did. This also being, you know, you tapping into that sacred wisdom. You being able to see things that other people can't see. But see things from a certain perspective. Some of you really do need to rest. You need to rest. Uh, it being important to the download that you're getting when you're sleeping. Some of you people are, there, there is more uh, information coming at you. Some of you are having headaches. Some of you are really exhausted. More people are calling on your energy. More people are calling your name. Mm, more people are thinking about you at the same time, wanting to talk to you at the same time. Some of you really do, you're, you're literally stuck in place in fear, man. You're literally stuck in place in fear. You wanting to go somewhere else, some of you really want to move, I got it. I just feel like I keep saying that. Some of you want to move. You want to go somewhere else. You want to go far. Fear being what keeps you keeps you around somehow. Some of you did move too. Some of you already moved, man. Some of you already made a big move. It was big for you somehow. You were comfortable in a certain place and then you made a huge move. A huge shift that changed, changed your life completely. And some of you, again, want to make a move. Some of you could be that you made a huge move to, to start a life with someone, to get married, to start something, and now you're making a huge move to leave them. This also for some of you having to do with uh, changing states at the same time. Making a grand gesture a few years ago or a while ago and deciding to, you know, go across country or... Move somewhere you've never been before and then having this come up again for some of you while losing, while losing out, or losing out on someone or someone losing out on you, baby. You're being really uncomfortable, someone not getting enough sleep, being really uncomfortable when they sleep. Some of you, someone literally tried to put you in a box, they can't put you in a box. A lot of talk going on about you at this time. People try to um, say that you were just one thing. Them, them realizing just how deep the rabbit hole goes when they look a little closer. People not knowing who and what you are, so they look a little closer. At first glance, thinking that they could write you off, having things to say, kind of trying to bury you too. Trying to... Uh, Trying to discredit you for some of you. The more that they communicate or talk about you, they're also being there being a lot of chatter. The more that they communicate or talk about you, the more they get sucked in. 
<laughs> the closer they look, then they start to love you. <laughs> some of you men, it's really important that you spend some time um, going deeper on the, on the ideas that you keep getting. You're getting some really crazy downloads for some of you when you're just laying in your bed and you're chilling, you know, just relaxing. Not even doing much, but some of you, you'd be really high when this happens. And it's like, you get these really amazing downloads about what you should do. What would be a good a good idea for you. Or getting a download about how you need to go sit at your altar, sit in your sacred space somewhere. And not diving deeper into that. Mm. To see what's next. Even if it gets messy. You know. Even if you break down. Even if you have a wreck somehow. Have you on that energy of having a wreck? Like. Not a car wreck or something like that. An actual wreck. I mean like. Life being a, a mess. And it being okay. You surrendering to the to divine. For the. Um, divine intervention. Something is, is a, an absolute mess. Uh, because a Scorpio is involved. They distract you. They took you off. We were completely talking about one thing. We were talking about. How you move forward. How people see you. When they dig a little deeper. Seeing what you want to build on. There being a, <laughs> a Scorpio out here staring at me. That wants to talk to you. Wants to communicate with you. Sees you as their happiness. Wants to know what's next. Or you want to communicate with them. Some of you, someone... Uh, you took someone to bed. You shouldn't have went down that hole. You shouldn't have went that deep. Now that you look at the situation a little closer. Now that you think about it. You're being honest with yourself. You know the truth. Now that you have mental clarity. Now that you're not flooded with emotions. You're realizing you want to stick to what you already have that is solid. And, and uh, move from there. You're not being able to get out of this without looking like the asshole. Not looking like the bad guy. I'm wanting to move away from it from this lover, the lover's card. For playing chess, not checkers. For being strategic with how you do something. Something so having something in it turning golden over time. You having something and it turns golden over time. Some of you really are successful somehow. You really are successful working for yourself or what you're doing or uh, at your job. You really are um, capable of starting your own business, working for yourself, doing this or in this field. And the only thing holding you back is that you don't feel like you can do it. There being no external... Uh, blockages. Some of you go, you you you're kind of telling somebody you're ready to go on elsewhere, and someone is going to uh, watch you with a heavy heart, a little bit of jealousy in their heart too, a little bit of animosity. Some of you are dealing with with people who have gotten too way too comfortable. They've gotten way too comfortable with you uh, doing things that you shouldn't be doing. You offering to help somebody, you know, you're giving them an inch and them taking a yard. Mm. Mm. It's all about you right now, though. It's all about you right now. Some of you, man. 
you really are, are drinking too much, you're overdoing it, it's being a problem. It being a problem you're needing to walk away from. Some of you have to realize that you cannot drink, you're not allowed to drink. You're not in the space to drink. You can't even have one, that's for some of you. Someone can't worry about you anymore, or, the, or this is you. You don't want to have to worry about someone anymore. My phone just rang. Let me stop recording. So I'm about to get up out of here, but I did want to say uh, a couple of things. One, that somebody uh, has been in a relationship with, with, with someone uh, that it's been made easier for them somehow. This person may take care of things, may be a little more financially stable, but this person uses that as leverage. You know, you're not being okay with this. Someone needing to uh, really, really speak some life and some strength into themselves so that they're not riddled with anxiety about moving forward, about whether or not they're going to fall flat on their face, not be able to make it be left out in the cold somehow, you know, financially or literally be homeless, not have somewhere, not not have somewhere to sleep, not be able to make it on your own, someone being scared to um, fail, to go out, to venture out on their own and to fail, to, to not be able to succeed, needing to really get this out of your mind, knowing that you can go forward and have whatever you want, needing to quiet those, those uh, messages from your lower self that is trying to feed that, that anxiety within you. Trying to force you to stay in a position that you don't want to stay in. With someone, you know. That you don't feel, that you, that you don't feel matches your energy. But also, you need not exchange with your lower self if it's not going to be a healthy conversation. You know, if you're not in a position to have a healthy conversation today, uh, that's going to bring you some type of healing with your shadow self. Really, really look at yourself, check in with yourself about some of the things that you say to yourself that can sabotage your progress, hinder you in a real way. And you need not, you need not communicate today. You need to wait till a date, wait till you feel a little stronger. You know, that's for some of you. For some of you, you're so busy focusing on just what you want, a way to escape. You focus on your status, you focus on being seen, you focus on getting into the industry, you know. Telling yourself that you're everything that somebody wants or everything that the people want to see, everything that uh, is needed right now, the game is missing right now, that type of shit. You're doing this for so long and promising someone, man, that you're going to be able to take care of them when it's all said and done. Putting them through so much. Them, there being so many sleepless nights. Someone losing out on money. You not being able to give someone something. or, or So you throwing money in, in someone's face that you've given them or how you supported them somehow. How you showing up. So you throwing it in their face so much that someone doesn't even want it from you anymore. Or you promising this this to them without ever delivering. That they don't even want it anymore. They don't even ask much of you anymore, man. It being really sad. You ultimately really working towards a goal, but you doing this for a very long time. There being someone who's by yourself. By, by it, ooh, you will end up by yourself. Or someone has been by themselves for a very long time, by, but still riding for you. For some of you, it's a Scorpio. Even after all this, this time and something being over, someone is still there for you. They're still riding for you. When it's all said and done, that's the one person you could depend on. Or that's the one person that loves you unconditionally. That's for some of you. No matter what, have you on the till death do its part. For some of you, it's your husband or your wife. Someone that you've been with for at least 10 years or known or have a 10-year-old child with. Been married for 10 years. Something about the number 10. Being significant. Someone's still loving you even after 10 years. 
you for some of you man someone some of you have cheated on this person with up to 10 women or you or someone has cheated on you with up to 10 women and you still love them you know mm, you like no it was nine but who's counting being very fucking proud of this for some of you or this person that you're dealing with for some of you someone you made one fucking mistake yo you made one mistake and somebody you did you dirty so many times you were really in a vulnerable space whatever it is whatever you're telling yourself but it, you made one mistake and someone will never let you live it down or your partner made, made, made one one little mistake and you'll never let them live it down they said one horrible thing to you they called you out your name that one time meanwhile you you do all types of toxic shit or call them all types of every name in the book or you know you put your hands on them for some of you it's really fucking crazy or you're always cheating and then one time they they fucking decided to get back at you because they were in a bad space because of how often you do this and it being the end of the world uh, it being a feminine libra with a lot of masculine energy who's like this and it's also being a masculine libra and they need to check in with this shit Needing to check in with this shit. You know if that applies to you. Anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna get up out of here. <sighs> really feel like you got a lot on your plate right now. You need not deceive yourself about where you're not moving forward. You're still very much moving forward. You're still very much in a good space. You're needing to. Really come clean with yourself first and foremost. A lot of you knowing that you need to apologize about something and being so stubborn that you don't want to because you don't want to take any accountability. Meanwhile, this is somebody that you say that you love, that you, you claim that you love, you needing to apologize to this person for the shit that you've done and, 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 and you'll probably get an apology too from this person for the things that they've done. You're needing to remember that you love someone and love them, kiss them, reach out to them first. Nurture them. To treat them the same way that you want to be treated. Be the energy that you want to receive. Don't be worried about. Don't, don't get caught up in who should have did it for you first. If every bone in your body wants to love on somebody, love on them. You're really cheating yourself out. Of, cheating yourself out of having a uh, a beautiful experience because you're so you're so stuck in your head. <laughs> Needing to have a new approach, needing to be real carefree, needing to just take a leap of faith and apologize to someone, tell someone that you want to start over. Choose to dare to take a look at yourself where you're constantly pointing your, fing your fingers at someone else. You're not wanting to hear this, but you're needing to hear this, so... I told you, Libra, if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so. You'll find the information uh, below in the description box. You can book with me at clearsightconsulting.net. I love you so much. It's your girl, Mush, the Big Body Bench. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess. Somebody come see this. Peace.